Good afternoon everyone. Today I'm in my backyard in Bellingham, Massachusetts. I'm doing Wildflowers 101 episode 20. Today we are looking at spotted touch-me-nots. Here is the spotted touch-me-not. It has several nicknames. Spotted jewelweed, orange jewelweed, common jewelweed, jewelweed and spotted snapweed. Touch Me Nots is a reference to the seed pods popping open at a touch. It is also an antidote to poison ivy and stinging nettle. The family is Touch Me Nots. They are an annual and they are herbaceous. Spotted Touch Me Nots are an irregular shaped flower. The color is orange with reddish brown spots. They are three quarters to one inch long. There are three petals, five sepals. The two upper sepals are light green to yellow and they are small, located behind the upper lip. The lower sepals are light orange and shiny. The flower is cone shaped in a tube, ending in a narrow nectar spur. Here is a sideways view. You can see how it's a cone shaped. It's a summer blooming plant from July through September. The leaves are green, oval to egg shaped. They are coarsely toothed. They are one to three inches long by one and a half inches wide. They are alternate on the stem. Stems are two to six feet tall and they are erect. They are heavily branching. The stems are watery, hairless, light green to a light reddish green. The stems are translucent, hollow, and they break easily. The roots are a taproot and they form colonies. Here is the fruit. It's pale green and slender and hairless. There are five valves on the capsule and they are three quarter inches long. When ripe, they explode if touched. Now I'm not sure if these are ripe but I want you guys let's see no those aren't ripe pop okay it just popped I don't know if that showed up because my fingers are probably in the way I'm hoping this one you'll be able to see popping oh it just popped I mean I just lightly touched it pop habitat are moist woods forest meadows stream banks swamps and yards it likes shade to partial sun. Spotted touch me nots are native to New England. As you can see, I have a lot of the spotted jewelweed in my yard. I actually encourage it to grow because it's important food source for the hummingbirds. Pollinators are hummingbirds, bumblebees, native bees, and butterflies. This is usually one of the last food sources for the hummingbirds. It has such a great shape it can easily get its beak right in there. I hope you have a chance to get out and enjoy this cute little flower July through September. All the information will be in the about section. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. See you next time.